it's funny after I recorded the video that I made last time for the Infinite Warfare beta that was actually supposed to be my one and only video for that and I had about eight minutes of gameplay and I was wondering man I don't know how I'm gonna be able to fit eight minutes of talking into this and as it ended up being ended up running out of time and not enough time to actually complete all of my thoughts for this beta so I'm actually making this video here to basically complete all my thoughts about the beta now first off just the map that I'm showing you is pretty much what infinite warfare is to me right now I mean it doesn't get any better than this and this isn't some super MLG legit gameplay that I'm showing you this is just a gameplay that basically shows infinite warfare in a nutshell so it's on this map frontier and as I mentioned before for people who don't know about the characters floating after they die this is a complete knockoff of destiny if you play destiny like I do there's a map called drifter when you play for the multiplayer and after you kill people the exact same ha thing happens where you're in zero gr gravity and the players float after you kill them so this is just one of the many knockoffs that Call of Duty has done from Destiny. I'm not going to get into all of that in this video, but just wanted to let you know if you didn't know, that's where they got this from. So one of the major things that I didn't discuss in the other video that is probably the main reason why I'm not feeling this game is the lack of originality with this game. Now, some of you people you know when you're experiencing these rigs or from Black Ops 3 when you had the specialists this yet again is a complete knockoff of Destiny so I've been playing Destiny for the last couple of years and it's, it's funny the more and more I started playing the multiplayer of Destiny the more and more I just noticed the complete ripoffs that Call of Duty has done from Destiny the specialist ideas are called supers and destiny I mean literally the same I mean it's not necessarily in this advanced warfare but for black ops 3 all the, the specialists for the most part are either kill streaks from a previous call of duty or an exact knockoff of a super from destiny so getting the exact same thing being cut and paste over into infinite warfare just to me it's just made the game even worse for me like it's like I'm just playing Destiny 3.0 and that's why that's one of the main reasons I don't like this game I mean the rigs are just specialists with you know different it's just like they just rehashed it repainted it over reskinned it and just call it something different and you know went from there so that's one of the main reasons I'm, I'm hating this game another thing that I noticed was I didn't like the kill streaks in this game. I mean, I didn't get to unlock all of them, but from the ones that I was able to use, they didn't do anything. I didn't get any kills with them. And this goes back to the map design. If you're watching this gameplay here, um, the map design is just absolutely terrible, especially this frontier map. It's utter chaos. I mean, you get a kill and then someone shoots you in the side you get a kill you get shot in the back you get a kill someone is floating over you and shoots you you get a kill uh, you know someone from the other side shoots you so they've made these maps where there's no flow to them there's no there's no safe zone they spawn wherever there's so many times where I've killed someone and then someone spawns beside me or behind me and kills me and it's hard to really get going. That that's the main thing that I've I've had an issue with. The streaks are no good from what I saw. Didn't do much with it. And with the UAV spam, you're basically on the mini map, you know, 24/7 every for the whole game. So it, it's it's really difficult to really do anything stealthy in this game, unless you have ghosts, which is another problem in itself because they made ghosts like they did for Black Ops 1 and this is just another thing I don't understand these developers 
I, I know they must see other games and see the success from other games and see what has worked for other games. And that's why I don't understand why if you see something that's working, successful, the community likes it, why are you going to go back and do your own thing and do something that's taking a step in the bat in, in the wrong direction? I mean, you're going backwards. I don't understand it. Ghost right now is exactly like the, the ghost perk from Black Ops 1, so you don't have to be moving in order to be off the radar. So I've seen many of games where there's guys just sitting in corners with ghosts waiting for you to run around the corners so they can shoot you in the back. Who wants to play like that? But this is how the developers want to have the game. I, I don't understand why you would do this. You've seen how much the community hated people who are ghost campers. You knew how much that it ruined and it took a part out of Black Ops, the original Black Ops. So why are you going to go and just decide, you know what? We know that everyone hated ghosts, but we're going to go ahead and put ghosts in like they had it just because we're the developers and we can do what we want to do. I mean, that seems what that's what the you know, that's what the developers attitude is, and I just don't understand it. So, it, it's just it, it's just so many things that are just wrong with this game. And it's just it's so unplayable for me. Uh, I've been in so many lobbies where it's just snipers everywhere whether it's on my team or the other team whatever it's just a sniper here a sniper there it's worse than it was in black ops 3 well i'm not not black ops 3 it's worse than black ops 2 i should say and the sad thing is is it didn't do that for black ops 2 right away it took time for it to be that bad this game is dead on the beta with snipers just going ham so i doubt i'm going to be buying this game um, like I said in the previous video, I'm probably just going to be waiting for them to buckle down or cave in and release COD 4 Remastered as its own separate entity, and then I'll go out and buy that. For this channel, I'm not going to be getting it. You're going to be seeing, I just got an HDMI splitter, so I'm probably going to be playing on my PlayStation 3 and recording gameplays of Black Ops 2 and Black Ops or whatever the case may be. I am not playing Infinite Warfare. Anyways, thank you for...